Welcome back. Welcome back, friends. Well, it's been nearly 30 years since Kevin Smith's second movie, Mall Rats, hit theater. Since then, it is, I know, everyone my age is going, what? Yeah, anyway, <laughs> it became a cult classic, and Minnesotans, we love it. We, we take it in because it was filmed just like three blocks from this studio <laughs> at the Eden Prairie Mall. Look at this. Back to Brandy's. Look, Brandy is the past, my friend. She's behind you now. You face forward, or you face the possibility of shock and damage. You should learn to heed your own advice. Where the hell did that come from? What's going on here? Looks like a stage is being erected. What is this monstrosity? Maybe it's for the Easter Bunny pictures. Impossible. The Easter Bunny court is down at the other end of the mall. It's been up since two days after Christmas. I want answers. <laughs> Look at the old mall. This weekend, most of the cast of Mallrats is reuniting at Twin Cities Con here in Minneapolis. Please welcome three of the stars of the movie, Jeremy, Jason, and Brian, everybody. <laughs> Jason, if anything goes, if I die in this set, you can just take over the show. I mean, I it's, like I mean the, your name is ready to go. I like it. I walked I, around, I was like, Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> I have a twin brother named Jason, so I've been called Jason almost as much. Yeah, so any of you could take over the show. So, how are you guys doing? Doing We're great. Good, man. What, what, are, what, are these, what are these cons like? I'm sure it is a mix of emotion of, like, you get just ample amounts of love, but if, if you have an ounce of uh, introvertedness in you, it's probably uh, anxiety-inducing. What, what's, it used what are to the, be. It yeah. used to be. I used to feel like a fish in a fishbowl, people staring at you and pointing at you and stuff like that, but then whenever they start giving you a bunch of money, <laughs> money you stop caring. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what I, you know, the nicest part is that uh, our, our, our fans are getting younger and younger and younger, and so this movie we shot 28 years ago still has legs and that's the i think the most rewarding part is that it still holds up and we and and people still genuinely love this movie i that's think that's the best part to me is it, it are the young fans surprising you that it is touching it doesn't surprise me i would have guessed this that it is reaching a new generation now well it's great i feel like it's great because it's nice when people come up and it's like a 75 year old who's like here's my daughter i get, i showed her the movie and then she showed her daughters the movie or it's son whatever it's like a nesting and, yeah, doll they do, yeah. they do. <laughs> it's, it's really great so there'll be like a 14 year old and a 75 yep. year old and it it's, it's pretty amazing to see like it, it it's great like and what and what's great too is that uh, kevin smith the writer director of these films has created this universe of many films within it. So you can start with the movie Clerks, go to Mall Rats, the next one, Chasing Amy Dogma, Jane Silent Bob Strike Back, Clerks 2, we made Jane Silent Bob reboot, and then Clerks 3. And it's all this tight universe, kind of like, you know, the Marvel universe, where Y'all were Marvel before Marvel. Pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Pretty much. Pretty much. I was just saying. And if anything, Tony Stark stole my look. <laughs> I, I, I've got it now. I'll, I'll do the Tony Stark. Yeah, yeah. I, let's take over. Yeah, yeah. But it's great for fans to come out, uh, not just for us, but for many other things as well, which is always great. Um, I'm a fan of a lot of the guests who are there as well, so we love just meeting other mm -hmm. people. And it's a safe space. You can. I know Halloween just passed, but you can cosplay, dress up, do whatever you want, and come out all three days. It's a lot. It's a lot of fun. I love it because I'm a big fan. I'm, I'm, I'm a Star Wars fan, and I love Kevin. And I, I and it is a safe space where yep. you don't have to worry about being judged because. You know, like my prom dates here, and again, insert your own jokes. But, but we were we were the kid, we were the mall rats kids, we were the drama kids that weren't popular. So when you go to these cons, you don't feel uh, it is. I, I'm so glad that you said that. Everyone feels not judged. When right. You walk well, there's a it's a community of people. Whenever I first started doing. Uh, Conventions, even the people that did cosplay and stuff like that, were a little bit strange. But, yeah. Yeah, but now it's a really, it's it's people get to just, it's like a community they have found, and they can go and they can just be themselves, no matter how strange and weird it feels. And it's and it's a lot of fun. Jason, a selfish question because we are three blocks from Eden Prairie yeah. uh, Mall, <laughs> but I have to ask when I think of when you think of the mall, when you think of shooting there, because Kevin didn't, Kevin wanted to shoot in New Jersey, right? And you came here because it was cheaper, right? Yeah. Is that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yay, we cheat! We're cheating! <laughs> you won the bid. You won, won the, bid. the bid. You won the bid. But when you think of the old Eden Prairie Mall, I mean, what, what memory floats to the top? 
Oh, I, you know, I had so much fun. Mallrats is actually my, is really my favorite. I was like 19 years old. It was my first studio movie, and we just ran around the mall all over. And <laughs> what stands out, well, it was awesome, because I even got, Kevin let me pick a couple of the names of the stores, because of course you can't use the actual stores um, that were there. So we, I had Shuby Shakes, because <laughs> that was my nickname back in high school. <laughs> so. I got, and, and what was great is I was like, can I keep that neon sign after? And I got to keep the neon Did sign. Did you? <laughs> so that was awesome. So things like that. I mean, just running around the, uh, the mall, there was an arcade, and I hanging out with uh, Jeremy and Jason Lee, and it was such a blast, man. I had so much fun uh, just hanging out at the mall. It'd be interesting. I want to go back, because I know they've done some renovations and stuff, so I'm oh. curious. It got remodeled. It wow. did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Kevin's been talking about doing the Mall Rats too. I don't know if it's going to happen, but. Uh, oh, hey. I mean, Jason, we are cheap. We I are know. cheap. <laughs> More with the guys when we come back. Back in the mall, everybody. A suitor number three. What would our first date be like? Well, uh,. First, I'd take you shopping to the stores you'd want to shop in. And then we'd do a little lunch, probably at the Cheese House, followed by some golfing. And then at night, uh, we'd take in an opera, probably Deflator Mouse. And then I'd follow it all up with a drive to a secluded beach where I'd pop on the radio, and, and then we could slow dance till the sun came up. That was the biggest load of crap I've ever heard. <laughs> Welcome back. That is another clip. Oh, they missed the funniest. From the cold hit, Mall Rat, shot about a half a mile from our studio here in Eden Prairie. Welcome back, the cast of Mall Rats. Uh, I got to tell you, Jerry, I hope you don't mind. In the break, we were talking. They're not going to go to the convention now. They're just going to take these two ladies yes. out to lunch. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Our overflow ladies right there. Sorry, Twin Cities Con. They're just. <laughs> well, I, I thought they were the female Statler and Waldo. <laughs> <laughs> Who are these guys 30 years ago? I don't even remember that. <laughs> well, we didn't tell you this, though. The surprises keep coming. In our building, this is no joke, in our building, we have a senior producer. If I don't get his title right, he gets very angry. Executive. I'm sorry, he's an executive producer. <laughs> now he's going to be angry. Now I'm in trouble. But guess what? You're fired. He was a child <laughs> extra in Mall Rats. What? Oh, wow. This is a reunion 40 years in the making. <laughs> you have no idea who he is, but there's Ryan Rablin right there. <laughs> Do we have the scene? Ryan, get in the shot. You're Please right. tell me you have the scene. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's good yeah, to see you director. guys again. <laughs> Well, get, get if you were a here, child yeah. then, then I'm glad we're still alive. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Maury to go like, you are not the father. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, how old were you back then? I was 10. 10? 10 years old. Oh, yeah. Wow. Crap. It was almost 30 years ago, so yeah. What do you think? It's, it's safe, yeah. It's wild. Ryan, that changed your life, didn't it, buddy? It did. It did, okay. Wait, we're all still here. We're, we're all, all still here. Yeah, we are. Just said that. I was like, I, well, you know, good thing we're all He's here. running the whole studio. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> what? I said, he's running the whole studio. And we're all oh, don't say that. <laughs> don't say that. Oh, God. <laughs> what the no. hell am I doing myself? Oh, no, no. <laughs> okay. wait, 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 same question that I was asking Jason when you think of the old mall and you think of just shooting the movie, what floats to the surface of your memories? Oh, just the, the, the camaraderie with these guys. Uh, it was mostly after we were done shooting. Yeah. Because uh, we, we shot yeah. from 8 o'clock at night till 8 in the morning. So our days were uh, over when yours were starting. And so uh, we were a bunch of loud kids in a hot tub uh, at 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, uh, Look at Jason. Having people come downstairs like, what the hell is happening in this hotel? Is this, a, this, is, at ED, this is at EP, yeah. Yes, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, this is going to get naughty. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we can cut the video right there. You can All cut. of a sudden, the two old ladies perked up. <laughs> 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 See, you picked a good day to come, ladies. <laughs> we'll get you tickets. How many of these do you guys do a year? How many of the cons Ooh. do you guys do a year? 
It depends, right? Yeah. yeah like, I mean, when yeah. we uh, we had came out with Clerks 3 last year, so we were on the road a lot promoting that. Mm. Uh, so we average about 12 a year, like once a month is yeah. probably about a thing. I don't mm. do that many. I do probably <laughs> four. <laughs> <laughs> That's, I'm raising a grandbaby. That's way too much time. You are? I am, yes, yeah, oh. believe it or not. Oh, my yes. goodness. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I'm a grandpa. Oh, look, look no, at we're like, about oh. the same age. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm, oh. I'm 51 this week. So it doesn't oh. complain. Oh. 49. 49. Well, guys, I, re I know there is a snafu in getting you here, so it means a lot to our staff and this audience. Yeah. I've never seen so many Fox employees in our building. Uh, <laughs> there are people that are in this studio that didn't even know our show existed. So, <laughs> just for you. Give it up for Jason. <laughs> if you're watching us, if you're watching us locally, not in Chicago or, or, or uh, Orlando, uh, if you're watching us locally, go meet them this weekend at Twin Cities Con. It's happening at the Minneapolis Convention Center today through Sunday. Head to TwinCitiesCon.com for more. We'll be right back. Back after this, friends. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it very much. Thanks, guys.